Hello and welcome to the ASA Convention for 2022. I'm Roxanne and I'm the Chair of the Convention Organising Committee. It's really great to be back in person with everybody again this year. It's been many months of planning this convention and so we're happy that it's finally here. Um, it's been a little different this year because we had to plan both an in-person and a virtual convention. The buzz in the convention is, uh, is really exciting and I think what's great about this convention is the fact that we're coming together and we appreciate the opportunity to actually be together in person again but also that it's hybrid, that a broader group of people can access the material that's being shared. My uh, theme for my presidency has been uh, this respectful debates and dialogue and I think us being back in person it's really helping that. People are engaging with each other. They're actually um, just the buzz being created by being together again after COVID. It's really cool. As president, I've really been impressed by the quality of the topics, the quality of the speakers, and also the quality of the engagement of people around you. You can see the enthusiasm of South Africans who want to make a difference, who want to stay in this country, and who can build this country. And for that, we are very grateful. To ensure that both our virtual and in-person attendees you know have that same experience see the things at the same time was to have our virtual attendees access the convention on a live platform seeing everything that the in-person attendees saw at the same time engaging with the app in the same way that the in-person attendees would have engaged with the app everything happened in real time they were part of it even though they weren't actually present at the convention and this is our virtual control area for the three streams so in each of the meeting rooms, we have a bunch of technology that is set up to allow the presenters to present their topics. And then we capture all of that information, video, audio, and bring it through here where we build another production that we then publish on the internet virtually for the remote delegates to consume, but also to interact and participate within the conference. Each team is made up of our video director who is switching the virtual show our speaker onboarder who's bringing in our remote presenters, our um, voting and polls manager and our uh, audio operator on the end. We aim to give the virtual delegate the same value of experience as the in-person delegate. But it's always wonderful to have a hybrid session because of the fact that we can allow for panelists to actually join us even though they may be very far uh, based in Accra or based in um, Nairobi. With our member base becoming younger and also the corporate world becoming a lot more fresh and crisp, we actually decided to just relook at our logo and the branding, what the actual society of South Africa is actually standing for. A brand that our members would actually identify with, be proud of, and actually become our brand ambassadors. Forbes partners with ASA at this convention every year because it presents us with an opportunity to showcase our brand as well as the services that we offer to the larger business community and then also to our actuarial colleagues. This is really the premier event in the actual industry and in South Africa and really in Africa. So the highlight is really to connect with all the people, see all the people. We want to be not only impactful to our clients and value adding to our clients, but be impactful in the industry and the community that we operate in. So it's a really good, good place to actually meet other actuaries and see how we can deliver better on our actuarial service. And it's also just good to actually interact with other actuaries and actually see what kind of developments other actuaries are coming up with in the, in the industry. SA3 is an actuarial recruitment business. If you're an actuary and you're looking for a job, we're the people to speak to. We help actuaries find amazing opportunities and we help employers find the best talent out there. I Love Coffee is a social enterprise. We've been in, in existence for six years. And uh, what makes us special is the majority of our baristas are deaf. So when you come to our coffee shop or at this event like this, you're actually being served uh, coffee by a barista who's been taught in sign language to make coffee. We're here today at the Liberty Stand um, with our dogs in training so everyone can come and get dog cuddles between different talks of the conference. Part of our training with the dogs is for them to interact in crowds. So this is a very important part of their training. 
looking at the program, we really try and sort of diversify across the range of specialities that actuaries find themselves in. Firstly, let me start by, by thanking ASA for the, for the platform that, uh, that they've created where we could share our story. We cover content that covers both sort of life insurance, investments, pension, healthcare, to really sort of bring out all of the expertise within the industry and so that people can, you know, learn from the areas that they're comfortable with but also sort of explore all the other avenues that it actually can practice in. The programme was really good. There were good, top, good speakers, good topics, good papers. There is something for everyone, so whatever area you are practising in, you will find something that is relevant. All the papers that I've uh, managed to attend so far, they've been quite inspiring, uh, mind-provoking. We balanced both having the content side of things and we really had a great sort of delicate experience in terms of the social side of things. We had two standout events, we had our happy hour at the end of day one, we had some of our actuarial professionals showcasing their musical talents which was great to see. It's been great to meet all of the clients and companies and see all these innovative things we're doing and it's been phenomenal. I think last year attending online, you missed out on the networking, you got distracted by work emails and calls, but being present and being here has been wonderful this year. And then the highlight always being our sort of cocktails and dinner event that happens on the second day. This year we had it at Cabo Beach Club with the pop art theme. I think it's an amazing event, an amazing opportunity for all of us to be back here again. Just seeing people's reactions and their looks and their smiles. I think it's something else and something different. So I've been planning the party since 2018. Choosing the theme is always amazing. And I think it's always nice to get everyone's reaction as they walk in. really fortunate that in my year as president of the IAA I've been able to travel to quite a few international actuarial events and I have to say that nothing compares to what we are able to do here. Even the virtual events that we were able to host and to have that community spirit in our profession is unmatched anywhere in the world. So I think credit to the organizing committee, credit to African Agenda, as well for a world beating a convention that we're able to offer our members in South Africa. Really knowledgeable content coming through. We had fun. We really just enjoyed the entire experience. And so we're looking forward to having everybody back next year where we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the ASA convention.